The government says it has no plans to change laws which allow graves to be reused despite a groundswell of support against it. One Adelaide man is trying to raise thousands to save his great-great-uncle's plot, which has now expired, before it's dug up for another burial. Dick Butler's family remembers him as a hero. Under heavy fire, he uh, headed in and saved a, a fellow digger who was injured and uh, with the help of another chap, carried him to safety. So uh, a particularly brave man, I think. A gunner who served on the Western Front in World War I, Mr Butler was awarded the Military Medal for his brave efforts. But as he was buried with his wife and not in a military grave, his final resting place is at risk of being reused. We're uh, saddened at the thought that uh, his grave might not be here when uh, the anniversary of his actions in 1918 come around. While the plots of some servicemen are protected, those who didn't die from war injuries or whose families didn't notify the cemetery of their service at the time of burial can have their graves reused once the burial site lease is up. To save Mr Butler's grave, it will cost Andrew and his family more than $3,500. But he says he's determined to raise the funds before it's too late. We would like this grave to still be here for years to come. Lobby group Saving Graves is fighting to stop the destruction and reuse of graves. They've started an online petition urging the government to amend the Burial and Cremation Act, which attracted a thousand signatures in its first day alone. So many people are unaware of it. So many people think that they bury someone and that's it. They're going to stay there forever um, and there has to be more solutions. But so far the government's not coming up with any. There's no proposition in front of government at the moment for those things to change. It is a part of our history that's disappearing and it's uh, important for future generations to be able to go and visit these graves. Give them the, the dignity of uh, being left to rest in peace. Elise Baker, Nine News.